Dangan Monster. What are you doing? Uh, you ready? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing? Anyway, Taka did it. Welcome back. What the heck? Um, if you if you don't tell me what's going on, man, how am I supposed to understand? I think I figured out that someone's been killed, right? Hey, Mikado, who was it? Well, two people were killed, Taka and Hifumi. What? 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 Two people? Just the worst. Why are you freaking out? You did it. I did not. We hold on. If those two are the ones that were the oh, killed well, ones, well. that's it. I know who did it. So then, we may as well tell us then. Hmm. Taka and Hifumi were fighting over Alter Ego, doofus. I'm at least Which means right. Alter Ego and or Shiri Shikido Rurito must have done it. Correct. I see. That's unfortunate. Uh, unfortunate. What the heck? Stop trying to trick us. Just admit that you did it, okay? Uh, um, I'm telling you, man. You got it all wrong. Oh, sorry, I man. know that. No. No. Uh, um, Last night, someone slipped a weird note under my door. And here's what it said. I found a hole. Maybe we can use it to escape. M Monokuma can't find out, so don't tell anyone else for now. Let's meet in the rec room at 1 a.m. <sighs> but the last thing I remember is going to the rec room, and then for some reason, I fell asleep. Hey. It was 1 a.m., so maybe I was sleepy. Yeah, he actually fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Just naturally. Yeah. <laughs> the real killer probably drugged me or something. Just the worst. Not a chance. So... No. Done. He could be on to something. The nurses. Oh, well, that's more of a Lolita voice. <laughs> uh, no, hold on. He could have been on to something. There's the nurse's office did have chemicals that could do that. Huh? Well, really? <sighs> I told you someone's trying to set me up. A secret passage, a chance to escape. Someone wrote all of that to trick me. Even if it's true, you must be one dumb fish to buy every piece of bait that floats in front of you. I'm hungry. <laughs> well, after being trapped here for so long, even if you know it's a lie, gotta check, right? Go! They preyed on my desire to get out of here. They deceived me. I still don't buy it. Don't be mean. Well, you should buy it. Just a second. Okay, then show us the note. Hmm. With pleasure. I have it right here in my, um, pocket. No way. Looks like I lost it, bro. Oh. Yeah, huh? Please. Oh, but you gotta believe me. I wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> As I said before, if you want us to believe you, you must produce evidence. Can you show us the note? A lot of you talking. Yeah. I have no particular issue with what you claim, but if you want us to believe you, give us a reason. What uh -huh. uh, the heck? For serious? Yes, your hero's account has been added to the truth bullet section. <laughs> now then, shall we resume our investigation? There's no time to waste before the class trial begins. Why do we need to keep investigating? We already know who did it. You still need evidence. What the heck? Why did you kill them? Tell us, hero. Oh. No, <laughs> like I said, bro. Just the worst. Was it really to get money? Manakuma offered us. I forgot that that happened. Yeah, that must be it. You must be totally broke, and that's why. Wait. Wait. That's a false accusation. Someone help me. What are you saying? But, but just that. Uh, just be <laughs> thankful we haven't found and gagged you, or bound and gagged you. If you have time to yell and carry on, you have time to search for your evidence, right? No, oh, you're right, bro. When you know when it's Don't fail me now, feet. I guess I better get back to guard duty. 
I was gonna ask Toko or Genocide Jack to switch with, to switch with me, mm. but she and Sakura are in, got Sakura. into Sakura got into a fight. We'd have a catast- catastrophe on our hands. God, I was too much reading all at once. Well, bye. One by one, everyone peeled away. Now I can never do it again. Makoto, what do you, do you have a second? Uh. I want you to help me with the investigation. It would seem... It looks like I got a late start on this one, so I need to help make up some ground. Uh, sure, I don't mind helping, but can you promise me something? Later, when we have time, will you tell me why you disappeared? Why is that? No. To reject me so simply. Anyway... Anyway, I need your help. You don't mind, do you? Uh, okay. Shall we go? Thanks. Now then, shall we? She did disappear. Ding, ding, ding. ding. So, Mikado, first I'd like to examine the corpses. Examine the corpses? I can't believe I'm hearing that from a girl the same age as me. Correct. Dead bodies don't lie, you know. They tell the truth far more easily than the living. Hey. Wouldn't you agree? How am I supposed to answer? Anyway. Anyway, we have to hurry before the class trial begins again. Uh, yeah, you're right. Okay then, show me to where the bodies are. They're in the repository, then I guess we should head that way for now. We've already looked all over there, though. Yeah. Time's running out after the repository, see. It's gonna make you go to the pop pop up. Uh, where was that again? I don't know. Upstairs Shit. on the third floor, I think. I think so. But I could be wrong. Wee. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> this song reminds me of. Joe Have there Biden. always been sketches on those? Yeah. Oh. Hifumi and Taka. For a moment, Kyoko seemed to be rigid. But only for a moment. So then. Well then, let's get started. She crouched down next to Taka and without hesitation began poking and prodding the bodies. I knew it. The Monokum file was right. They were killed using similar weapons. Her movements were so smooth. She was so calm and yeah, cool. Yeah, she's gonna be Dana Scully. She's not gonna have any issue with this. Seeing how comfortable she was actually made me feel a little more comfortable. That's why the X-Files is great. It's like beautiful, tiny Jillian Anderson, like so examining funny. a gross dead body and she's just like calm and beautiful. That's great. Doesn't Kyo- Kyo- Ka- uh, Kyoko. Uh, Kyoko get creeped out poking at dead bodies and stuff? Guess not. There are many aspects to the incident this time. Too many, to be honest. If it's her, I'm killing myself. Me too. I don't want it to be her. I love her. <laughs> Considering that, it may be good to go back on everything that's happened. So then, would you like my help? Because she, uh, she will give you the, the recap. But I don't think we need the recap. Yeah. We know what, we know what they all think happened, so... The biggest problem I have right now is how the killer was able to move Fufumi's massive corpse from the nurse's office where he was discovered to here the repository. That's the only reason I think it's Big Beef Girl. Uh, all the way from first floor to third and all without anyone noticing it. She could like, uh, what is it? What's it called? Dead, deadlift? What, what is this it? Is some shit. Yeah. I just can't see how it's possible. Further, it seems like Hifumi died with a blow to the head. He was most oh yeah, he was kind of conscious when we were up here, and his glasses are clean. Yeah, and then he like died again, and his but yeah, his glasses are clean. But I think that he, yeah, that's right. We had the theory that he walked up here because he clean woke up, cleaned his glasses, and like stumbled around. Mm-hmm. Maybe someone guided him. Yeah. He was like, hey, Hifumi, come up here, and then like had him walk up there because he was like still alive for a minute. That is right. Mm-hmm. Look at his gross gerbil lip thing. Yeah, he's got like a cat mouth. It's gross. When we found his body in the nurse's office, his glasses were covered in blood. But now they're spotless. 
Does that mean someone wiped his glasses clean? But who would do that and why? Uh, Taco was killed by a blow to the head. He must have been struck with Justice Hammer 4, which was laying on the floor next to the quiver room, and there's a top tar, tar played out in his body. And it, the killer must have used it to move Taco's body, and that way it wouldn't have leave any blood stains as it was moved. And they used the cart to do it. I see. Mm, no. Makado, I found something. You did? Hey, you remember the wristwatch Taco always wore on his left hand? He did. <clears throat> Are you so oblivious to the people around you? Do you dislike other people that much? No, that's not it. Anyway, so you said he had a watch. So then, take a look. It's broken. You can see the hands aren't moving, right? It's most like it most likely broke when he had his encounter with his assailant. And if you notice, the hands are frozen at just past six o'clock. So that would mean the watch is broken sometime after six. That's right. Last night, Taco's watch definitely wasn't broken. <sighs> yeah, how long are you gonna keep us waiting? Taco's irritated voice pierced the air as he stared pointedly at his wristwatch. It's almost 10 o'clock, you know, that bad time for all the watch pairs. In other words, so if it worked a ton last night, it couldn't have been broken at 6 p.m. Meaning him. Oh. Meaning it must happen six in the morning. Moist. However, and that's not all. Take a look at Taka's left hand. Yeah. He appears to be gripping something. Right, there's something white in there. How did none of you notice the obvious fucking note in his hand? I don't know. Probably traumatized. Can you try and pry it out? Me! Because rigor mortis has already set in. Boys are better suited for this kind of manual labor, right? You have smaller fingies. As much as I didn't want to, I grasped Taka's cold dead hand. The ice cold hand was nearly enough to cause my heart to stop beating. Good thing you don't have a broken heart. After some effort, I was finally able to free the object from his tightly clenched fist. Like that other dumb dumb that we have to listen to <laughs> in that a, other game. A piece of paper. Hey, that's all he had in his hand? Yeah, that's it. Just a little scrap paper. It doesn't seem like much of a clue, does it? Is that right? I wonder about that. Kyoko then turned to Hifumi's body. So then, let's shake Hifumi's body now. Perhaps he left us a few clues of his own? Nice. Nice! He was trying to make a paper airplane. Oh, well, did you find anything? I did, more than I expected, to be honest. Look at this. A wad of paper. That's Not right. just any wad of paper. Fufumi had it on him. Hit in. Indeed. He stuffed it in his pants, so I can only assume he, he hid in it. He's hid it out on purpose, you see? In his pants, so you what? You did Why the what? That? It was just his pants, not like his socks or something. No, that's how I meant. Oh, no. Hey, his pants don't have pockets. <laughs> Anyway, let's take a look at the paper. Go on, Makado. Open it. When I think of how it was stuffed down his pants. So was like, it like stuffed down his like ball sack pants or like pocket? Because people have pockets. Yeah, right. It's probably down his pants. Dang. Better be important, Hifumi, or I'll never forgive you for this. Well, he's dead, so. But no. I found a hole. Maybe we can use it to escape. Monokuma can't find out, so don't tell anyone else for now. Let's meet in the equipment room at 6 a.m. So that sounds very familiar. That's it, it's the same as Hero said. Then he was telling us the truth. However, although it's not exactly the same as it. Uh, um. Last night, someone slipped a weird note under my door, door, door. And here's what it said, said, said. I found a hole, maybe we can use it to escape. Escape, escape. <laughs> Monokuma can't find out. We don't tell anyone else for now. Let's meet in the rec room at 1 a.m. Ah, uh, times are different. And then, and then, did it? Did the note say don't tell anyone else? I don't remember that detail. The time is different. Here, told us his, his note said at 1 a.m. But this note here, they wrote for Hifumi. I asked him to meet at 6 a.m. Is that right? Hold on. Just because Hifumi had the note doesn't mean it was meant for him. Yeah. 
so part of it has been torn off, right? I think there's likely some meaning there. It's the part that what's his nuts had. Mm -hmm. There's some meaning to the part of it being ripped. I'm I'm really stupid. Can you help me? Ah, think. Hey, why are you dumb? Why would he? Mm -mm. I don't know. So dumb. But if it wasn't just a scrap of paper when he was holding it, what if it was something more important? And how would something important like that become a mere scrap of paper? That's what you need to answer. Nice. Does it have a name on it? The scrap? Is it like signed? <laughs> we'll, we'll check in a sec. Wouldn't that be fun? And while we're at it, I should tell you one other yeah, thing. Yeah, just game over from there. Yeah. The two victims this time definitely had their E handbooks on them. So the handbooks have nothing to do with how the murderers were carried out. Not that there are it was uh uh mm. So you're saying that uh in that uh uh Is that right? That is what I said, yes. <laughs> if you didn't want to think about them at all, I wouldn't have gone out of my way to mention it. All I said was that they weren't used to help carry out the murders. There may come a point, however, where I ha ha uh -huh. <laughs> They play a role I don't think I understand. But if Kyoko thinks it's important, I better keep it in mind. The handbook has been added to the truth page. Bing bong ting tong. I don't believe it's him, but I don't know who it is. It's time for the class trial to begin! Yeah, remember the last class trial we did? We thought we knew the answer, and then we figured it out during the trial. Right, it's just... I thought we needed to collect like more. No, nah, I think we'll figure it out. Like the flash of a soul clashing with life and death. And so, with no further ado, everyone please meet at the usual spot. Make no. your way to the red door on the first no. floor of the school. <laughs> See you soon. How much wine do you think this little bear drinks? <laughs> it would seem... It's unfortunate, but I suppose this is where our investigation comes to an end. He's just always stay drunk. You'll have to figure out the rest for yourself and come to the proper conclusion. Just stay buzzed. Yeah, you're right. Shall we go? Well, let I get going. Okay. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. Oh. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, I was like, is it really broken? Everyone had heard Monokuma's proclamation. They are gathered by the red door. And it's as soon as we were all there. Monokuma appears! Hello, hello! Twins? He's multiplied! Wrong. Nope, not multiplication. It just looks that way because of an illusion. I'm moving so fast, it looks like they are multiplied. <laughs> <laughs> Can you guys tell which one is the real Monokuma? <sighs> Can we just get on the elevator already? Boy, that's the crowd. You're not playing along. Stop talking. We're not playing along. <laughs> hey, hey! If everyone's here, ready to go, please board the pain train. I mean, elevator. I'll see you guys in there. Let's Boy, go. You know. Okay then, shall we? <laughs> please. Hold on, man. I'm not mentally prepared yet. School. What the heck? <laughs> You'll never be mentally prepared. You can't run away anymore, hero. You're gonna pay for your sins. What the heck? I told you already I didn't do it. For cereal. Hmm. That reminds me, did you ever find the question or the note? Mm. Uh, no. <laughs> How unfortunate. Then it would seem to be a hard culprit. Uh, ah! Hey. This isn't the place to talk about it, so if you're acu uh, accusations, when you get in the courtroom. That's right. She's right, let's go down there first, then the story can really be gone. Yeah, good idea. That's right, I have to, I have to do it, I have to. I, I can't let whoever killed a Fumi and Taka get away with it. For everyone who's still alive and for the two that lost their lives. <laughs> The one who killed the Fumi Ataka, the one who killed two of our friends. Killer is. Someone right here! I don't want it to be our big beefy beaverson. Damn. 
I don't like Monokuma's carefree attitude. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> It would appear the culprit has been confirmed. The trial will be over in no time. Just the worst. Let's hurry up and go. We can make Hero pay for his crimes. Hmm. Were you listening? Wait till we get to the court when you're arguing. Shut up. Hey. The story begins when we get down there. <laughs> it wasn't me. It wasn't me. You gotta believe me. Mm, yes, yes. Come on, Big Mac. Let's do it. Big Mac. Okay. I took one last deep breath and exhaled slowly. Her name's Whopper, and your name's Big Mac. Come on. I began to walk toward the elevator. Once everyone was aboard, can I call you Big Mac? Can you call me Whopper? <laughs> <laughs> the doors closed on their own. And a steel box began to move. Going down. Clunking over the elevator kept us company as we fell further and further down. There was no going back. Until we settled all this, we couldn't go anywhere. I'm not sure how long it was before the elevator finally came to a stop. <laughs> the elevator door slid open, opening up to a cruel fate. <laughs> blue was it never blue i feel like it was red oh well look there's a moon on the left so maybe it's not it's a they changed the aesthetic it's nighttime now <laughs> hey when i see all the games you get like this i realize just how few there are left your school's life is slowly reaching its climax just the <laughs> only because of you why? Why are you making us do such cruel things to each other, bro? What? Hey, do you really hate me so much? But I'm so cute. Come on. Stop goofing around. Begin the trial. Yeah. Don't rush me. Of course I'm gonna <laughs> <laughs> I would never be like stay tuned for the expert class trial after this commercial break. Yeah. I never hold you on like that. Okay, let's begin. Get your science seats. Fucking. And so the current opened once again, a deadly judgment, a deadly deception, a deadly betrayal, a deadly riddle, a deadly defense, a deadly faith, I get a deadly it. class trial. It's deadly! You want to save this deadly yes. chapter? Yes! So we got some truth bullies. Uh, oh yeah, just the... Yeah, it's just... Yeah. How do I... Oh, okay. Tarp is found. Uh, cool. You know, Dolly has blood, yeah. wheels. Yeah, we know that. Glasses are Glasses, clean. spotless uh, hammer. Oh, that's right. Oh, well, that one was washed. The door connecting the art room. to the repository was designed to open only from the repository side. Hmm. That's right. Yeah, there's the wheel thing. Glasses, those glasses cleaning cloth. thingy, yeah. The blood. Fumi's probably disappeared once less and Aoi uh, left in the nurse's room. They weren't gone for a minute, too. Me in the dining hall. Oh, yeah. Blueprints. Yeah, that's right. And there was this costume that no one could fit in except for him. And then he received a note. Me at 1 a.m. Broken watch at 6. Torn paper. Uh, a paper that's torn, but we don't know why. It can't, it can't fit anywhere else. Yeah, it couldn't possibly. <laughs> so, uh... Okay. Yeah. Set our skills. We have attentive influence. Increases the influence gauge by two. Effective during the class trial. Costs two SP. How much SP do I have? SP right there. Oh, there's 13 out of 16. Increases time limit for each phase. Do that. Yes. Oh, look, you just filled it up. Oh, yeah, I guess I have all of it. Huh? Oh, yeah, then I guess you're, they're good, huh? Yeah, I have. I, yeah. Okay, cool. Don't need to worry about that. Let's go. Trial. All rise. All aboard. I almost said. <laughs> explanation of the class trial. So your votes will determine the results. If you can figure out who done it, who done then it? only Who's they done will it? receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong one, who did it? Then I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and the one that deceived everyone else will graduate. Dang. Now then, 
To begin with... We already know who did it! Was that? <laughs> it was Hero. He does not have an alibi for when the murders took place, and we found him in that suit. Don't try and deny it! You killed them! I didn't! Someone knocked me out! I, I was asleep the whole time! I don't know anything about it! School? You're murdering now! Murderer! <laughs> Who are you calling a murderer? I am sorry to say, Hero, but we do have evidence. Blueprint for the suit. Uh, why is the suit in it? It's so weird. Yeah, it's a little bizarre. And all of it was found in your room. You have to admit, the evidence is quite compelling. It points to you as having created the suit and wearing it while committing crime after crime. How many times do I have to tell you? I... I... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Is Hero really the killer or what? Before anything else, we have to make that clear. God, make your argument. So fucking weird. Yeah, so weird. <laughs> okay, guess we're using who doing his. Yep. Everything we found in your room. Should you sh the shoot? Blueprints, the suit cards, well, shoot something. I just want to read it all first. You are the culprit. <laughs> I don't know anything about that stuff. It's not true. It's a conspiracy. Did I slow down time You're again? I don't remember. Why did you kill them? Oh, space. No! Just hold on a second! Okay, that's all of it. I'm gonna have to repeat it. I mean, looking at the blueprints, the handwriting is awfully messy. Remember, right? His handwriting, handwriting isn't handwriting messy, is, right? Yeah, he has nice handwriting. Found in your room. Was it this? The blueprints. Probably the, the blueprints. Part, they are all proof enough that you are Oh, bitch. Dang. I, I, I don't know anything about that stuff! It's not true! It's a conspiracy! How do I speed up? I don't know. <laughs> no! Oh. Hold on a second! Yeah. Gotta yeah, do it again. Yeah, Slow it down the second that thing pops up. Now. Bitch. No, it's wrong! Where you're wrong! It looks like the thing behind him, like the words said, Cone. Are we sure Hero really made those blueprints? What do you mean? Well... Take a look at this. Yeah, take a look at... It's the note that Hero wrote, asking everyone to meet up after Alter Ego disappeared. The handwriting's obviously different, wouldn't you say? When you compare it to the blueprints. There's no way you could think the same person made both of them, unless that person made it a point to disguise their handwriting. Disguising your handwriting is actually really difficult. Hmm. No, the differences are bigger than that, Yeah. Come on. Like there's just your your net. Like I feel like you have to practice anyway. writing just differently <laughs> if you're gonna fake it, you know? Because mm -hmm. then you you automatically are gonna go into writing how you always write. I feel like so faking Makoto, your shit has to be are hard. Are you saying you don't think Hero's the culprit? And he is not the only one. I think Hero's innocent as well. Well, I hate to agree with you, Bakaki. <laughs> then who is in that robot suit? Is it like Hero said? Was there really someone running around in a second suit? I think that's why Monokuma was twins. The suit. Yeah, he's giving us Go a hint. Ahead, mm -hmm. Tell them who it was. It was a robot going twice as fast. It looked like two robots. <laughs> uh, and of course, he passes it off to me. Because he doesn't know anything. <laughs> the suspicious individual in question in the suit must be the Illuminati. The Illuminati. That's right. It's you. Oh, that's right. They're all working behind the scenes to try and set me up, bro. Those dudes are super scary for serious. Shoot! Uh, it looks like I embarrassed myself in front of everyone. Yeah, because it wasn't the Illuminati. Yeah, that's right. I guess. Oh. Uh, if, if, no, no, no. Oh. Okay, it's not. I was gonna say, if he's the only one who can fit in the suit, then he had to have been in the suit, but that doesn't mean that he's the one who killed them, p potentially, maybe. Oh, yeah. Sorry, there was a timer, so I just- Why me? That costume is super big on yeah. me. Yeah. You saw it. No, I embarrassed myself again. Oh! You're losing hearts. Yeah, I am. I got it! Other than Hero, I oh. can't think of anyone else it could have been. Obviously, he was the one in that particular suit. 
and we never found any kind of second He found a washed hammer though, so maybe. Then there can be no doubt. Hero is the prime suspect. That doesn't make any sense! You just said Hero didn't do it! I yes. said he's a suspect. It makes perfect sense. Hero was the suspicious individual in the suit, but he's not the culprit. So what you're saying is... Or is like, is the robot control, like remote controlled and he just has to be in the suit, but he's not controlling the suit? That's a fun idea. Because if he's just put in there asleep, then how, he's not going to know any difference, you know? Mm -hmm. Maybe that's and what is it is. Is it him that killed? So like, yeah, but it's not like it was his... Like a Charles Manson situation. Like his body who did it, but it was someone else like controlling it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but Charles Manson, if Charles Manson had like fucking powers, not just, <laughs> you know? Like that's different. That's right. <laughs> The culprit in this case has nothing to do with being in the Robo Justice suit. It was Charles Manson. What? <laughs> now that's a bold assumption. And what <laughs> reason do you have to make such a statement? You do have a reason, yes? Not just for fun. But before we get to that, there's something else we need to clarify first. So let's get that out of the way. Hey, stop trying to boss us around! I'm not bossing. All things have a proper order. So what is it? What needs to be clarified? We must clarify the method of transportation. You know, for Taka's you know design. it. It would seem that his corpse was moved using certain particular items. Makoto, can you tell us what they were? <laughs> yes, I can. Oh, uh, this thing's called uh the tarp, the tarp and then the dolly. Uh, uh, present key item with Y. Except I'm not using a controller now. Oh shit. Is it why? I, I right click. Ah. There's still one more thing. Yeah, there is. Yeah. The dolly. Uh, you missed it, dolly. I got it. They were a dolly and a tarp, right? You sound so unsure. <laughs> What's with the dude, bro? So. Let's see if I can explain. I was gonna say that anyway, and then he, he was saying it, so... His body disappeared from the equipment room. And then we rediscovered it in the repository. And when we found it for the second time, it was wrapped in a blue tarp, right? And then the wheels... The same tarp that and the blood. then was stored in the equipment room. So the killer must have seen it there, and decided to use it when they moved Taka's body. That way, they wouldn't leave any bloodstains while they were moving it. Okay, that explains the tarp. And the dolly? Same thing. He wanted to play with the dolly? Sure the dolly was in the equipment room when we first found Taka's body there. But when the body disappeared, so did the dolly. Later, when Taka's body reappeared in the repository, so did the doll. Uh, kinda, yeah, yeah, We're yeah. thinking. In other words, you think they use the dolly to move the body. Am I right? Don't move on. We're try we're like so focused on how the fuck did anyone move Hafumi that we we forgot that we think he probably walked himself. Yeah. So we need to think of who couldn't carry Taka. That's true. And would need to use a dolly. What if she, she pretended to like? So her? like, I don't think it could have been her because she could have just wrapped that bitch in a tarp and flipped him over his shoulder so fucking easy, you know? Yeah. So like, we gotta think of someone much smaller. Celeste. Possibly, she's tiny, and she was attacked. She could have been. She could have been the first one to put that all into action. Mm -hmm. So it's very possible. But are you sure you are not mistaken? Huh? What? Are you absolutely positive the yeah, dolly the wheels are bloody. Yeah. When we found Taka's body, yeah, the wheels are bloody. The dolly was made it's like Blue's Clues, we're just screaming at the screen. Between the repository and the art room. <laughs> Blue's Clues is a court case. Strange indeed to discover that joke's never been made. I was not listening to you okay. just talking. <laughs> You're talking through important dialogue. That it was in the repository all along, and you simply didn't realize it? She's raised an objection. How do you respond? I don't think so, though, because I remember up. seeing you know, it. Being wrong. Nobody expects much from you anyway. We have all accepted the fact that you rarely oh. understand what is going Bitch, on. Bitch, I solved right? every case so far. So I think she's being defensive. Mm-hmm. 
Wow, I've never had anyone talk so much shit while losing. Ever play a fighting game? You ever play DBD? Yeah. If I can't explain to them why a dolly did the thing, why did it have bullets? The new element has been added to the bullet time battles. Would you like to hear more? No, let's just go. You always do this and then you never remember what you're doing. Oh, yeah. See? You have it wrong. I cannot agree. You are a fool. So pathetic. Lies will get you nowhere. You go worst. Away with you. You miserable wretch. I cannot agree. You are a fool. Oh my god, this stresses me out so much. <laughs> Sorry. During bullet time battle, you have to take damage. Blah, 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 blah. Every time! Why won't you just <laughs> fucking not be Aaron Hansen for once? Uh, lock on, A button. I have to lock into a statement. Oh. What the fuck's the X button? Hold on. Why didn't you change oh, this and say that you weren't on a controller? You miserable wretch. You had it wrong. Which one's X? Oh, here we go. You are a fool. So pathetic. Lies will get nowhere. Do your worst. I agree with you. What are you doing? I don't know. You miserable wretch. You might need to hit a statement, right? I think I, I think I am. Final, Final strike. strike. I cannot agree. Yeah, equipment move on Stein. This should prove it. She just dies right oh, there. Oh yeah, she's guilty as all oh, fuck. Yeah. If you're asking for proof that the dolly moved. I have it right here. You dumb, stupid slut. When I found the dolly in the repository, one of the wheels had a blood stain on it. And there were blood smears in your blood pile. There was a pool of blood in the equipment room with the tire marker that matched the dolly wheel's tread. The killer probably rolled the dolly through the blood on accident. Yeah. And wheeled the body out of Idiot. the Idiot. And as the blood dried on the tire, they moved the body into the repository. Dum dum. So there's my proof that the dolly was used to move Taka's body. There. Jeez, the slits really hate me that much. Well, anyway, that was just something we had to get out of the way. Let's get back to the main subject. Yeah, the subject of how Robo Justice didn't do it. Because if it's not a killer robot, then. Do you know Brian Cranston used to do a lot of anime dubs? Interesting. But anyway. <laughs> what kind of robot is it? I'm not sure that really matters. He also was in Malcolm in the Middle. Mm -hmm. I'd be happy to explain why the occupant of the suit couldn't possibly be the killer. If you look back on how the body was transported, it will become immediate. The arms can't obvious. bend. Mm -hmm. But look at how the body was moved. It'll be clear why the person in the suit couldn't have done it. What does he mean by that? The arms are all janky. Make your Make argue. Your argy. Look at all these dead people. As we know, yeah. Taka was killed in the equipment room. Yes. And from there, the body was moved to the repository. Correct? Yes. Yeah. The culprit wrapped the body in the tarp. Yes. Then loaded it onto the dolly. That I think that. Off, right? Oh no. Oh, I'm wrong. Come on, me colorless gaming like that. What are you doing with the gun in the courtroom? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, you're fine. As we know, Taka was killed in the equipment room. And from there, the body was moved to the repository, correct? You're a repository. Yeah. The culprit wrapped the body in the tarp, then loaded it onto the dolly and wheeled it off, right? Yeah, wheeling. Now, keep in mind that the dolly doesn't have a handle. No handle. Well, yeah. But even without a handle, all you'd have to do is bend, bend over, over, bend over, bend over. No, that's wrong. Can't. <laughs> Doesn't it look like it? I, I forgot to look at it. You need to look. You're absolutely right that you could push a dolly without a handle if you stoop down low. But if you were wearing that suit, do you think you could actually get into a position like that? What do you mean? Think 
back to what you said when we were all checking out the suit together. <laughs> I'm blind as a button here. Can't see my feet at all. I'm surprised you got anywhere in this thing. I'm telling you, wasn't me. And not to mention, you totally can't bend at the waist. Seems like a pretty obvious oversight. 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 When you're in that suit, not only can you not see your feet, but you can't even bend at the waist. Am I right about that? Am I right or am I right? Yeah. It seems like it'd be awfully hard to push that dolly if you couldn't bend over. Well, what's to stop you from simply pushing the dolly with your feet? You can't see your feet. When you can't even see your feet? You really think someone could kick the dolly all that way? I mean, you literally just have to kick, so yeah, probably, it's but... Totally impossible. <laughs> Not that I can say for sure myself. <laughs> On top of that, if you were wearing such a rigid, cumbersome suit, it's very unlikely you would have the dexterity to go about wrapping the body in a tarp. Also, killing two people up and downstairs with two different parties checking up and downstairs. Yeah, in a huge suit that you can't see your feet or bend over, which means you're slow. Like, you're walking slowly. Yeah. Yeah, it's someone who's much more um, able to, like, run and hide and be quick. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, isn't that just a matter of taking off the suit when you're ready to move the body? There's absolutely no chance that yeah. the costume is taken off. You can't take it just off by yourself. Just because you can't take it off Josh. yourself. I don't think taking off the suit was an option. You had that, like, Remember. weird latch thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's up with this thing, but I can actually get it off a little help, help, help. Why would you make something that you can't take off by yourself? So, so. I didn't make it the stupid friggin' thing, thing, thing. There's a clasp on the back that's keeping you from getting it off. Off, off. It looks pretty sturdy. I don't think you can get it off on your own. Own, own. We really don't have a choice. Let's help him. That's true. It seems impossible to put the suit on or take it off. Someone made him take a snoozy time junction, slipped him in the. So someone's got to be big enough to put him in the suit. Yeah. Yeah. Take it off by yourself? Hero wasn't just making it up. Uh, of course I wasn't making it up. You think I'd stay in that thing if himself? I could take it off? I don't <laughs> think he would have let us see him wearing it. Showing up in the suit was basically an invitation for everyone to suspect him. Yeah, that's right! So, it's really, really true that Robo Justice couldn't have moved the dolly? To be clear, whoever did move the body, it couldn't have been Hero in the robot suit, correct? Correct. No, wait. Just a second, if you please. Have you forgotten about the picture that I took? You all got a good look at it, did you not? The image of Hifumi being dragged away by Robo Justice? Maybe she's gonna have a hug. Was in that suit is not the culprit, how do you explain that? Besides, do you remember what the now deceased Hifumi said? How did you get hurt? Hurt, 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 hurt. Yeah, guy hit me, 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 me. What guy? Guy, guy. <laughs> what about justice? That's what I decided to call him just now. No, no, no. So long as those facts exist, the proper conclusion is beyond question. The individual inside the suit and the culprit are one and the same. It was Hero, without a doubt. Yeah. Yeah, that's gotta be right. No, it's not. Hold on a second! It's still far too early to reach that conclusion. Besides, no question. There's no hurry to decide who did it before we rush to a verdict. Shouldn't we explore every single possibility? Instead of seizing on one viewpoint, the truth is uncovered by analyzing things from every angle. Perhaps, but where do we go from here? Let's review this series of unfortunate events from the beginning. <laughs> Maybe we'll uncover something new. <laughs> what a pain in the ass! I don't disagree, but our lives are on the line. If this is what it takes, we have to do it. Uh, just well, kill me, I don't wanna. Get to find out where the heck <laughs> yeah, I'm kinda over it, guys. I'm just kinda bored. Alright then, let's kinda take another bored. look back at what happened. I suppose we could start with this morning. Four of us gathered together in the dining hall. Makoto, 
Hina, Kyoko, and myself. We waited there for quite a while, but nobody else showed up, so we went to look for everyone. That was around 8 a.m. And as soon as we split up, Kyoko went missing. Soon after that, Hina found Celeste in the rec room and quickly came to get Makoto and me. It seems I was unconscious for about an hour after I was attacked by my mystery assailant. I know it was an hour because I remember being attacked a little after seven. That was when we saw Celeste's picture and discovered that her assailant had been wearing a strange costume. As it turns out, it was Robo-Justice. It also soon became clear that this same Robo-Justice had abducted Hifumi. We were I don't know what happened. in our search by Byakuya and Toko, and then went on to find Hifumi in the library. He was injured, so we took him to the nurse's office and resumed our search for the suspect. But not long after leaving the nurse's office... What's wrong? I saw a shadow of something moving around at the top of the stairs, stairs, stairs. When Celeste told us that, we decided to split up and search the second floor. And soon after that, I saw someone moving around on the third floor. And I yelled out to everyone as soon as I did. Celeste, what's wrong? That was rather intense scream for someone like you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I saw him in a strange costume man. He ran off as soon as I screamed. I was blocking the stairs so he had further time the hallway and disappeared. And then... Yeah. Uh. What was that? That came from downstairs, it must have been... If he's in the nurse's office, it's bad. We have to go back. Come on, guys, let's go. At that point, we decided to divide up into two groups. Celeste, Hina, and I went back to the nurse's office, while Sakura, Byakuya, and Toko chased after the suspect. When we got back to the nurse's office, we found Hifumi, dead. And that's when we heard the body discovery announcement. I left Celeste and Hina there and headed back to the third floor to let the others know what had happened. Meanwhile, we had just discovered Taka's body in the equipment room. He did nothing wrong. We must have found both to die. bodies at almost exactly the same time. Because we heard the same announcement not long after we discovered his body. And that's when I told you guys about Hifumi. Then the three of us headed for the nurse's office. But right after we left the physics lab, we ran into Celeste, who'd arrived after us. And she told us something very surprising. I killed him off. <laughs> Hifumi's body has disappeared. We rushed back to the nurse's office and saw that she was right. Then we remembered we'd left Toko passed out in the equipment room. So we hurried back again. Should we do next time on Saparcade? I mean, we can, yeah. Um, uh, okay. Yeah. It's just, uh, yeah, it's taking taking a long time. And we'll finish this up next time. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> Kisses, everyone. Happy August. Ew.